No, if you wanted to make right. the glow version, you'd leave the glow parts on there. Without painting. Without painting. And then. And here's, they turn the, there's a lot of car stuff going on in the 60s too. So they turn the monsters into buffoons with the, <laughs> <laughs> with, with the cars. That, oh, God. It's funny because they put out all these reissues of the models and they did a Godzilla one. I love the crown. And I was going through the models. I said, I never got that Godzilla one. What happened to that? So I looked on eBay and apparently Toho Productions <laughs> Toho! <laughs> didn't like the way Godzilla <laughs> was being portrayed in this model. So they pulled it. Uh, they put a cease and desist to uh, Polar Lights, and I had to get this for a pricey uh, price on eBay. Don't fool around with Godzilla. That's right. Oh, Kachira. And these have just been released. I'm working on this one right now. Ooh, Barnabas. The Barnabas. And, of course, these, they even redid the flexible arms, which are pretty much mm, useless. Right. They're rubbery arms, which you can't really pose. And the werewolf, which was not Quentin. I thought Quentin was the werewolf. I did too. But it was another character, because Quentin was somebody else, which was why I was disappointed when I got the Quentin edition mm -hmm. of Dark Shadows, and the werewolf was not in there. I wonder what part of him glows in the dark? Glows in the dark, it says. Let's see. Oh, let's this, open it up. This just came out. The reissue. Doesn't look like uh, much. Was that the... There's your glow parts, okay. the heads and feet, and in a uh, bat. Okay. In the bat there. The werewolf. Says, we got to get to the game <laughs> on this episode. I brought that down three times in a row. And sticking with the King Kong. This is a little later. This is not 60s. This is a little, he's a little heavier. This doesn't is, quite have the abs. Right. And the model is actually way out of proportion, <laughs> if you can tell. King so they, oh no, this is from the mm. 70s uh, version. He's standing on the Twin Towers. Right. And luckily I got this in the 90s because this thing is <laughs> way out I of did, control. I didn't know the Twin Towers were close enough where a ape could straddle them, one leg on each tower. This just came in the mail yesterday. I didn't open this up yet because I didn't want parts to go flying. But just the tin, this is a tin <laughs> with <laughs> the, <two laughs> mo the Munsters cars. You, you clearly are a very wealthy man. Ed. <laughs> well, most of these I get are not pricey except that one Godzilla one. Okay, now we're going to get oh, no. to the games. We're going into the we, garbage bag. We, we have time. This was the Barnabas Collins game. This was not the original I had because remember I said I buried my hamster <laughs> <laughs> in the Barnabas... Oh, the and teeth? Somebody put these. These are not the original teeth that the winner would put in their mouth because they were a nice rubbery. You can't find the, the fangs anymore. That who would put in the mouth? The winner? The winner would put the fangs in the mouth. Well, you know what? If I <laughs> didn't win the first game, I would never win. <laughs> There's the spinner. You would spin. You get some bones on it. Oh, look at that. And take your parts out of the coffin <laughs> and try and build your skeleton on the little... Scaffolding. I think I may have had this game. <laughs> does it look familiar? Yes, now? the spinner definitely mm -hmm. does. It's a little. What they hang on? They all oh, they hang on there. I think I had this game. Hmm. Uh oh, don't lose your part. Oh, no, you lost the steak, Ed. Oh no. We should build a skeleton if we had time. We might have to do that on the next show because we have to play the other game. Right. We'll play with this one next time. Right. This is what my hamster was burying. <laughs> <laughs> where's where's that mm -hmm. where's the hamster now uh, uh, six feet under but he's in, probably not little... in your current location <laughs> no though. you should go back to that location dig it up and see if there's boxes still there he probably became a vampire now here's oh, the yeah. one the producer has been looking for this look at this an old dvd with some stuff on it. <laughs> hey there's that uh trailer i was we're going to talk about i got it that's in your belfry. This was one of the monster toys that came out of all this monster craze in the 60s. And they don't make games like this No, they have anymore. a new version of this game now. It's called Elephant. Uh, they do not. No, they don't. They don't make games like this anymore. These solid plastic oh, games. Look at that. 
do bats come flying out and you have to catch them? You're going to do it, Dave. It's, it's elephant, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Elephant, the little butterflies come out of the elephant's trunk and you catch them in a net. Do they? Yes. Well, it was a similar premise then. You put your bats oh, in the it belfry. It pops up and you got to catch it. You put the, the marble down the slot and sometimes it pops and sometimes not. Okay. So I'll put the marble in. And you do you, how many up here? Because you have three. to scour the studio for these. Okay. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's cool. <laughs> That's pretty violent. We, yeah, they go pretty high there. You take someone's there's, eye out with that, kid. Let's see. If, and there's somehow you press these little skulls and it stops the thing from going. All right, let's try one more time. Bit. I was a little, I was a little, uh, Yeah, you were predicting here. I don't know you what gotta I was go predicting. A little higher. I predicting. And look at these very hard plastic hands. They'll, they'll, they'll bounce right out. <laughs> I got two. There you go. I'm a wiener. <laughs> okay, we gotta get to the game. We got to the game, Dave. Oh, that's exciting. That's in the belfry. They don't make games. I'm not gonna be able to get over here with all these. Uh, all okay, right, what are we doing, to, Dave? We're off to the poster pairs game, folks, where you send in via email two numbers between one and six. We pick your name out of the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, there goes that Godzilla. We uh, select your entry, and we'll reveal the numbers that you put down between uh, one and six. And if the pairs, the posters match, you win two free movie passes. Okay, we're all set. We'll move this ugly box. There you go. Away. Shake that up, Ed. We're going to shake it up. See if we can get this show wrapped up before the buzzer goes off. <laughs> we were a little short on time last week. Here we go. And this one is LaShawn Pringle. Oh, that's a Ooh, new entry. Yes, I'd like uh, some of your potato chips. Uh -huh. Five and three. Okay, let's wow, start with... with the, she went with the higher number first. Yeah, that's unusual. That's, that's I'm gonna, very unusual. I'm going to start with the three because it's closer up here. Okay. okay. <laughs> I think we're going to get it this Captain time. Captain America, it's, I need uh, poppers. So Memorial Day weekend, we're coming off of, let's give away some tickets with and Captain five. America. Oh, oh, man. Oh, not the up and down. Really. I'm very disappointed. Oh, I'm hoping in the next two weeks, Dave. Gonna... Now, the other thing we forgot to mention that came out of the, well, the monster stuff at the time, and I'm not sure on the opening date, I think it was 73, was the House of Frankenstein. Oh, right. Which we have a, a live model here, this giant size Kong model now, that uh, came out of the House of Frankenstein. Yep. And uh, we're going to be showing that with the email address. So send in your two numbers between one and six to mediazone95 at gmail.com. Simple thing, send it via email to that address. And we pick your name like we pick LaShawn Pringle. And uh, the numbers match, you win two free movie passes. Ooh. Look at that. This is a new name, Ed. I don't believe I've seen Yeah, this we've had a few new, another entry. But don't give up, LaShawn. No, don't give up. Keep, every week, uh, send in. Well, uh, does that wrap up this and show? That wraps up a, an exciting monster-based show day. Oh, monster-based. <laughs> Next week, another... Boy, it gets really quiet when Frank, when the <laughs> King Kong goes off. So next week, another exciting show, Ed. Yeah, some more of those big summer releases and uh, the June releases. I don't think there's any more movies based on games like Battleship. We missed that on the week we were off day. Transformers of the Water. Yes. From the studio or the game, game company that brought to Transformers, Hasbro Films Presents. Oh boy. Battleship. All right, we better sign off so we get everything in here. We'll see you next time with some more summer releases. Good night, everyone. Thank you. And may your God go with you. <laughs> <laughs>